I'll tell you this. I'm a pretty optimistic guy. I think the only people who outdo me in terms of optimism are people that love surprises. <laughs> yeah, because if you're the kind of person that likes surprises, your life is terrific. Most surprises are terrible. Car accidents, hurricanes, unplanned pregnancies, those are all surprises. So for you to still enjoy the surprise as like a genre of thing, that means less of that has ever happened to you. And more people have just given you presents for no reason at all. <laughs> if you asked everyone in the world what they thought about surprises, you'd get half a dozen people who are like, I love surprises! Last year, on Christmas, my fiancé surprised me with a Lexus. Surprise! Who wouldn't love surprises? <laughs> and then you'd get half a billion people who'd be like, why do I hate surprise? I tell you. As young men was returning home to village, from hillside where we leave our babies till they grow big and strong. As I pass through village gate, four men in masks jump out of bushes and attack me with clubs. Surprise! <laughs> I pull out the blade I carry for just such occasion and fight my attackers back. One, two, three, four. The men crumple to the earth. As fourth man falls to the ground, he begs me to pull mask away from his face. And as I do, I see is face of my own brother. And I think, oh goody, one day, double surprise. <laughs> so as you can imagine, last week on my birthday, when everyone jumped from behind the couch in the drapes yelling, surprise, I began to sob uncontrollably, and I murdered all of the party guests. <laughs> Only survivor was woman hiding in cake. Now, I cheated there because I use the saddest possible accent, right? That Eastern European sound. I can make a hangnail sound like a heart attack. I learned the gravity of that accent firsthand. I went to a new doctor recently to get a physical, and he'd gone to medical school in the Ukraine, which says a lot about my insurance situation. <laughs> and I walk in, and he's like, good morning, Mr. Gondelman. I was like, oh my god, you're the guy for my joke. And <laughs> He goes to put on a rubber glove to examine me, and he pulls it, and he pulls it, and it won't go all the way down his hand until finally he gives it one last tug, still doesn't fit. He looks up at the shelf where he got it from, down at his hand, directly into my eyes, and goes, Ooh, someone put a little glove in the big glove box. <laughs> you will pay for this. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, a life's about to end because there wasn't enough latex, which is insane because that's way more often how lives begin.